Good afternoon guys and welcome back to Dave's Fitting. So we're getting straight into it today guys. If you've watched for the last two weeks, if you haven't, pop back to the last two weeks. We are fitting Dave for some wedges. We'll pop back three weeks because you get to know what bounce and grind is. But we fit today for a 48 degree. So I've given that away already. We have fitted today for a 52 degree, both with the S grind of the Callaway Raw Wedges, which again, I'll put on screen now, which it talks through what you're expecting from that wedge. Today, we're looking at a 56. So um, with Dave, we're gonna go straight to 56 because I like to see a four degree gap. With Dave as well, we're gonna stick with the S grind. We know that the wide sole is not for Dave. We know Dave is very shallow. We know he's not taking deep divots. Dave, Stop calling me shallow. Dave told me off last week for calling him shallow. Um, but doesn't take big divots. So the S grind works perfectly. The S grind is also set, obviously, with the chamfered leading edge. It also allows him to be quite versatile because he likes to keep the face square. Yes. So Dave doesn't open the face up much. No. So he's he wants scared to, of thinning it. Yeah, scared of thinning it, which again is more down to technique, but when you're getting fitted for wedges we need to get what works for Dave best. He's not just going to magically start opening the face up because he's got a different wedge. His technique potentially isn't going to suit that, especially being so shallow. Mm -hmm. So 56 degree, we're going to hit a couple of chip shots here. We're, we're going to show obviously how Dave's comfortable with this. You know, we've got a standard shaft in there, standard wedge shaft. Uh, it is, like I say, the S grind. So Dave's going to play a couple of shots here. We're going to go to the front flag. We're then going to go to the left flag and then we're going to go to the back flag. But Dave's going to show again how he can play different flights, keeping the face square by just adjusting his ball position. So first of all, for the front flag, Dave would move it a little bit forwards in his stance. So we're going to show even with a square face, Dave can move that ball position forwards. Just let the club head release. And you'll see we've got some nice loft there other than Dave's aim. You know, you told me to sort of close my shoulders and I never take any notice. Yeah, so Dave's not taken any notice of closing his shoulders, which we talked about on his course management videos, which was on yesterday, which was on every Wednesday, all the way through to February at Garforth. So, nice and easy there. Dave got plenty of height on that. It was a square face. He got enough height. It landed pretty soft. It's run out a little bit. Direction was simply Dave. It wasn't the club. It was just... It was just Dave. So we're going to go for the left flag now. So this is going to need probably a mid flight. So Dave's going to have this just in the middle of his stance. So club head just behind. This is going to come out with a mid trajectory. Now he's going to keep the face nice and square. Again, Dave's going to hit another one there. So back swing length there for Dave was a little bit slow, so we need to keep that tempo. So again, guys, when you go for fitting, the wedges aren't magically going to save your short game, but they're going to suit what kind of angle of attack, what kind of short game player you are. And there for Dave, again, mid-flight, landed short, and ran out. Yeah, Still need a little bit more. That's a Dave tendency there. A little bit quick on the way through, doesn't get enough back swing. But because he's got the correct bounce and the correct grind from a square face there, he's not fatted it. He's been able to get there. He's then got a putt from 10, 15 feet, which he'd take all day from that kind of shot. So now we're going to go to the back flag, which is at around about 40 yards from here. So Dave's going to get his alignment good here. He's going to put this on the back foot. And he's going to make sure his weight's left. So there'll be some little bit of forward shaft lean here. Weights left, so Dave's going to shuffle around a little bit more. Good. Weights left, a little bit of forward shaft lean. And you can see, launched nicely. That had a little bit of grab. It is obviously wet out here today, so that did skid a little bit. But that's gone just past, probably to around about, again, 10 to 15 feet which you'd take from there so you can see dave there with that sand wedge as it would be classically called with the 56 degree he can play all the different flights he can play a higher one to the front flag he can play a mid trajectory to a 30 yard flag and he can play a lower one to the final flag so having the right bounce and grind there for dave has allowed him to play those shots if he went to a w grind which i've got here and he tried to play those three shots again, I'm going to predict that they're not going to be as consistent. Because obviously it's got a lot of bounce on that, the S grind's got 10 degrees, we've got 12 degrees of bounce, but we've also got a very wide sole here, which is all things that won't work for Dave. So forwards in the stance, square face, good. 
And as predicted. As predicted. Well, it's great for that last flag. Yeah, except we're going for a front flag. Yeah, so very thin. So bottoms out a little bit again with that wider sole and with that amount of bounce. Dave doesn't feel comfortable over that. Let's go for a mid flight now. Let's go towards that left flag. So 30 yards. Let's see it. Again. Nice front flag. Yeah, so Dave's playing all different shots for the wrong flag. So a drop kick there. So the bounce has caught the ground. It's done its job. Much harder, obviously, having this one square with the bounce. And again, off a tight lie. Very difficult. Out of the thicker stuff, out of a fairway cut or a semi cut on a rough, it might work a little bit easier for Dave with his angle of attack. But off a tight lie, it's going to be very hard to be consistent for Dave. Every time we've, tried, we've done these, I've always said, I don't like that grind. Yeah, and this is the thing guys, obviously when you're picking your wedges, do test them out, but you can see there's a massive difference. So if you're somebody who just picks them off the shelf and says to your pro, what, what do you recommend? They could be totally wrong for you, which is not going to help, and it's not going to help me keeping any golf balls. Sorry. So, we're going to move. For we're going to move back now. We're going to go to a longer shot. We're going to try and hit a 60-yard shot, and we're going to show how with Dave with the 56. Hopefully, that it feels right. The balance is good with the shaft. Obviously, these are wedge shafts, so they are a little bit heavier than Dave's clubs. So it's making sure that from that distance, that awkward distance that everybody hates, 60 yards. Does Dave feel comfortable with that, or does he need to go to a lighter shaft for those shots because that might feel a little bit easier for him? So. Let's move back. So we're back and we're going to hit towards 65 yards now. So Dave's gone back to the one he likes. He's gone back to the S grind. So we're going to now hit that to the back. It's going to be a three quarter shot for Dave here. So we're going to see how this launches, how it feels on this kind of shot, because this is the kind of shot that Dave's going to get quite a lot at Garforth and he needs to be able to feel comfortable that he can commit to this wedge. How did that one feel? Not great, really came off nice and high, just as you'd expect. Yeah, so came off with a trajectory David would expect to see. Interaction with the ground, a very little divot, which is what we know from Dave. So consistent, and again, that club, that grind, that bounce is the one that is going to work the best for him. So weight left, good ball position, that's good. There we go. So launch that a little bit lower, gone the 65 yards, and gone pretty close, like probably five or six feet. Yeah. So that's what we need to do, guys. When we're testing, when we're testing this club, it's not just around the green. Last week you saw we did test the 52 in and around the rough. We yeah. tested it obviously just off the green. Here we've done some off a tighter lie, but then we've also hit some mid-range shots, which this club will be used for quite a bit. So we're going through the motions here, guys, of when you do a wedge fitting, you will play all different kinds of shots to be able to narrow down which is the right shot for you which is the right wedges for you, and how your setup is going to enable you to have a more versatile short game and have more options. You're not a one club wizard. You're not just going to be obsessed with a 60. You're not going to be obsessed with a 56. You're going to be able to play them in all different situations to benefit your game. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. We've now obviously moved on. We've got Dave now a 48, a 52, a 56, and potentially next week we might be looking at a specialist club which might be the 60 degree. We wouldn't probably go from here to a 58. We will test this in a bunker to see how that works. But then we'll also get a 60 in the bunker and see if that's just easier to play on some specialist shots. So it might not be a wedge you use all the time, but it also gives you a little bit more versatility. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Comment below, what wedges have you got? What is your setup? Are you thinking about changing? What wedges would you go to? And uh, we'll see you again next week. See you soon.